All right, guys. Hi. Welcome back. My name is Julia Levesque. Um, I have Phantom here joining me. I have my dog Gunner walking, kind of pacing. You'll probably hear him throughout the video. He's drinking water right now. I am doing a sit down video, which is kind of weird for me. Um, I don't know why. I just feel odd sitting down making a video. I much more prefer vlog style, just casual, but I need to do story time for you guys. So <clears throat> if you saw on Instagram, I posted that my husband and I are expecting our second little baby. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so excited. I am still in shock. Honestly, is this, I need to make sure it's focused on me. I'm in shock still. It's been, gosh, over two months now. And it just, it, the shock hasn't worn off yet, which I feel like by this point with Eleanor, it did because we were, we were planning on having her, like we were, we were trying to have her. <laughs> I'm not saying that we weren't trying for this baby. However, um, we were doing the natural family planning because Eleanor, so, okay, hold on. Eh, let's stop. Let's rewind. So, um, we knew that we wanted a second baby and we knew that we wanted them closer in age. Um, so when Eleanor was about 10 and a half, almost 11 months, I got my first period back. And before that I had occasionally taken a pregnancy test just to make sure because when you're breastfeeding, sometimes your period is prolonged for the amount of time that you are breastfeeding, which mine pretty much was. I kind of stopped-ish around nine months. I started supplementing more and I wasn't pumping as much milk. So that's when my period came back. And so <clears throat> up until that point, hadn't had a period. It was great. So my husband and I had the discussion. Once my period came back, do we want to wait until she's a year old, like originally planned? And then after her first birthday, we can start trying for another baby. I was wanting to try right away, not necessarily actively try, but not prevent it um, by natural methods. Um, by the way, I wasn't on the pill. I wasn't planning on going on the pill in between kids just because it messes with my hormones some, so that I wasn't on the pill. And my husband was wanting to wait until after her birthday, like we had originally planned, and then revisit the discussion of having another kid or trying for another baby after her first birthday. So I was like, all right, if you feel more comfortable waiting, um, then obviously we will. You know, both of us need to be on the same page. So we waited a month and um, in between that month, I was thinking about um, adding a new baby to the family and being pregnant and going through the postpartum. And postpartum wasn't necessarily hard for me. After Eleanor, I did have postpartum anxiety and postpartum blues just a little bit. And, but it was mostly pregnancy. I wasn't used to those hormones. Um, I'm naturally, I don't like saying this, I'm not a very empathetic person to be, begin with. So having to deal with hormones and emotions and general feelings was very difficult for me. I didn't know how to work through them just because I'm very level-headed and I'm very logic. I don't think with my emotions, I think logically. So having to work through that, <clears throat> excuse me, was hard for me. So I thought I would rather just wait a little bit longer and warm up to the idea of being pregnant again and having to deal with all those emotions again and not knowing what postpartum was going to look like, especially having two, which I've heard adjusting from one to two is a lot easier than adjusting from no kids to one kid, which I personally think for me is going to be the case. Like I can easily adjust from one to two, especially with them being this close in age. They'll be 21 months apart. Eleanor will just have turned 20 months, 21 months when this baby is born. So, it's, it's still going to be new. I'm still going to be in the routine of having quote unquote a baby, um, but just throwing a toddler into the mix and it's all good. Um, anyways, so I had talked to Josh and I said, you know, I'm kind of thinking I want to wait just a little bit longer before trying to have another baby. And by this point he was on board to have another baby. It was me that was taking a step back and 
I was talking, you know, I still definitely want to have another baby. I am just thinking mentally and emotionally that I need to wait a little bit longer because the idea of Eleanor not being the only child, not being the baby of the family was hitting me a little hard. So talked to him about that. He's like, all right, we can wait. So I had said, I think I want to wait till she's about 18 months and then kind of, uh, regroup and discuss how I'm feeling then. So I was like, all right, so that was the plan. And this is when she is not even 13 months old. Like she had just, it's still within the birthday month for Eleanor that I was feeling this and I wanted to talk to Josh and I went to talk to Josh about this and we came to that decision. Well, I had, um, uh, a meeting on Friday. I had something on Friday, a meeting on Friday, on one Friday. And I thought I should take a pregnancy test just to see, um, because it's going to affect my decision with this for this particular meeting, what was going on and going on in our lives. So I still hadn't had my period yet. And I was calculating. And again, I was using the natural, the natural family planning method. I think that's what it's called. And I thought I knew when I had ovulated. So according to my calculations, I would be getting my period rather soon. And if I took a test that Friday, it would be the earliest I could possibly see a positive pregnancy test. So I took a, I only had one. I only had a clear blue digital. Um, I, oh, I also had the cheapies, like the ones that you can get off of Amazon. But I had heard that if you want a more accurate early response, then uh, take like a name brand like First Response or the Clear Blue. So I was like, I really want an accurate response, so I'm going to take a Clear Blue Digital. Well, I dipped it in and went and did my business as it was calculating it. I'm doing the timer and I came back and it gave me an error. I'm like, what the heck? Of all of the days, why now? And of course I only have one name brand pregnancy test in my house. So I was like, oh, this is so weird, I've never had an error when it came to clear blue digital granted i only had taken one and that was with eleanor so like this is really weird i don't know why but i just felt the need and the desire to um take apart the the test so i did which is actually a huge no-no they tell you not to do that uh, but i did and i saw that there was definitely a second line and it wasn't an evap line it wasn't anything like that. It was within the time period that I should be looking at the test, at the test results. So I'm like, this is really weird. And I remember I still had my clear blue digital from Eleanor, but the battery ran out. So I took apart that test. I had no problem taking apart that test. And I saw, I compared the lines and I'm like, it's not as dark, but it's definitely there. And when I was Googling and all of that stuff, you know, stuff that, possibly pregnant ladies do. Um, it said that it showed me pictures of what an actual evap line looks on that particular test and what a very faint line looks like, looks like at that test. And I wasn't getting my hopes up, but it looked exactly like what it should look like when it says pregnant. So I was like, Oh my gosh, I don't know why it is giving me an error on this test. So I was like, I don't have time. I have to head to this meeting. I have to drop Eleanor off at my mother-in-law's house. I'll just get another pregnancy test after my meeting. I'll run to the store and I'll get one. So had my meeting, ran to Walmart, got a clear blue digital. <clears throat> I got the two pack and I went into the bath, the Walmart bathroom and I took the test because I just, I needed to know. I can't believe I took a test in the Walmart bathroom, but I said not pregnant. So I was like, all right, that that's that I'm not pregnant. And that was on, hold on. I need to look. <laughs> that was on that was on the 4th of December again the earliest I could get a positive um so what about my day what about the uh weekend and the continuing week afterwards um my husband and I were discussing some things that were going on in our lives and I was telling my husband I'm like one app is telling me that my period should have started that following Monday 
um, the fifth, the seventh. And one app is telling me it's going to be the 14th, the week after, so the following Monday. And he's like, why don't you just take a test just to see? And I was like, I already took one on Friday and I said I'm not pregnant and that's really the earliest I could get an accurate response. So if my period doesn't come by the following Monday, which one app said it was, then I'll take a test. And in my mind, I knew, Julia, you're pregnant. Like, you're pregnant, you just need to take a test. But I didn't have any signs, I didn't have any symptoms. And my husband was asking me, he's like, well, what were your symptoms when you were pregnant with Eleanor before you took a test? I was like, I wasn't keeping track. We were not not trying, but that, but by that point, I had just completely given it up to God. And I said, if I'm going to get pregnant this month, I'm going to get pregnant. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to think about it. So I didn't. I didn't think of any symptoms. I didn't think of any dates. I just took a test when my period was three days late and it pregnant oh sorry my nose is so running it's so cold outside i was just out there i had to get something from the car and it's bitter cold out so okay anyways so all that week it's in the back of my mind that i could possibly be pregnant and as i'm recalculating when i thought i had ovulated i'm like oh man i think i messed up when i was doing my calculation so needless to say, um, I miscalculated when I was ovulating and we obviously did the deed during the time that I was ovulating. Um, and that following Friday, which was the 11th, I think it was, let me, let me look. Yes, it was the 11th. So I went, um, from December 4th through the 11th with the thought in the back of my mind that we could possibly be pregnant or I could just be overthinking this and obviously I'm overthinking this because my test already said I'm not pregnant. I'm just gonna wait until the 14th and wait and see if my period comes. Well, it was Friday night, the 11th, and <clears throat> we had just had dinner. Uh, Josh was in the kitchen with Eleanor. He was finishing up, um, putting some stuff away and just kind of entertaining her and just hanging out. And I was like, all right, um, do you have a real quick, I just need to go to the bathroom real bad. I'll be right back. He's like, all right. so. I was like, you know what, what the heck, why not? I grabbed a cheapie from Amazon and I honestly didn't even use it properly. You're not supposed to pee on it. You're supposed to dip it in your urine. And by that point I was like, whatever. I don't have a cup to dip it in. I'm just gonna pee on it and see what it says. And that's exactly what I did. And I saw it run through and Actually, don't even think I let it run through all the way before I tossed it in the trash because I was like it's gonna be negative whatever wash my hands and everything I was like well I really ought to see what it actually says to make sure it does say negative phantom don't hit the tripod and I pulled it back out and sure enough there were two very 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 dark lines on it and I was freaking I actually have the test I can show you hold on with this baby, I took a lot of pregnancy tests because again, I was just in shock. I could not believe it. Couldn't believe it, couldn't believe it, couldn't believe it. So that's not, this is it. So I don't know why I didn't wait to see it run through because I obviously would have seen it right away, but ooh, focus, yeah. Clear as day, pregnant. And then <laughs> I see that and my heart just like instantly drops to my stomach, not out of panic or anything bad like that, but just like utter disbelief. Because <clears throat> again, we, I wasn't really trying, but obviously, obviously God knew that we were ready and he wants to bless us with a baby, which I am so thankful for. I know that he has amazing plans for this baby. So I see the positive pregnancy test. And by that point, it's not even completely done, like drying. It's still within like, I don't even think it was after a minute of me throwing it in the trash, washing my hands and pulling it back out that I see it. So it's still wet. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so I grab it and I run into the kitchen and I'm like, Josh, and he's 
like what because i never call him by his first name i'm like look at this and he's like uh what am i looking at because i've never shown him that kind of pregnancy test before i've only shown him the clear blue or the first response one and i'm like that means i'm pregnant and he's like oh oh okay okay uh <laughs> and it was just so funny and i wish i had recorded it but again i wasn't expecting it so i didn't bring my camera in the bathroom with me um but just our reactions were so it was so funny because it was so opposite of when we found out that we were pregnant with Eleanor Eleanor I mean with Josh was the one that was freaking out a little bit and I'm the one that was just like la -dee -la -dee -da, we're having a baby yay because I was expecting it this time around I was like oh my gosh I was freaking out not in a bad way again, but I remember I was wearing a sweatshirt. I instantly just took it off. I'm like, I'm dying of heat right now. It's the middle of winter. I had the front door open. I'm having a hot flash. Eleanor is playing with some toys in the kitchen, just like completely oblivious to what is going on. And Josh is like, all right, all right. Okay, cool. We're going to have another baby. All right. <laughs> but it was just, our reactions were just really funny. But we are having another baby. It's going to be fantastic. I am currently um, eight weeks and I don't know how many days. I'm turning nine weeks on Tuesday and it's Friday now. Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. So I'll be nine weeks in a few days. Um, so far, it's I haven't been sick or anything. It's been fantastic. I am due August 17th. If I go to that due date, we'll see. I never went to my due date with Eleanor, but that's because my original due date was november <laughs> it was november 17th um and when i was redoing my calculations from the day that we actually conceived it moved my due date to november 10th and i told my midwife that she's like all right well we'll just keep that in mind but i'm not going to adjust anything in your charts right now because all of your appointments are based off of the 17th due date so i was like all right cool and i had eleanor november 8th so I actually think it's because I had my membrane stripped that the seventh, um, the 38 week appointment, I think it was, whatever appointment that was, um, whatever week it was, that's when I had it stripped. And then I went to labor midnight that night and had her the following day. But all that to say, you never know when a baby's going to be born. I could make it to the 17th. I can have her, him or her before or after who really knows. Uh, but speaking of him or her we are not going to find out the gender again we didn't find out with eleanor and we loved it um we have a name we have a boy name picked out that we're gonna use um when we thought eleanor was going to be a boy but we are still debating the girl name um but we have plenty of time for that we have seven more months yeah seven more months which i know seems like a lot but is honestly going to just fly by it flew by with eleanor <clears throat> and this time we have a toddler that we're taking care of <clears throat> and it's just going to make time fly even more um i'm trying to think of any other updates i had already filmed this type of video but right when we found out and i said i was going to do weekly updates but honestly i haven't had anything new happen i haven't been sick which is fantastic with Eleanor, I was nauseous 24 seven for about 14 weeks. Like the entire first trimester, I was sick. Um, I didn't throw up luckily. Actually, I did one time later in the second trimester, maybe the beginning of the third, but that was just a random thing. Um, <clears throat> but I really think it's because I'm chasing Eleanor around and I don't have time to think about being sick or anything like that. It's just, it's really strange. Like sometimes I still can't believe I'm pregnant because I don't have a bump. I'll kind of, I have a tiny little, I wouldn't say it's bloat really. And a little bit of uh, flu from the previous pregnancy, but that's it. That's what it looks like when I kind of stick my belly out a little bit and that's flexing. So you can't, there's really nothing there. And that's why it's still hard to believe that I am pregnant because I'm not sick. And if I do get nauseous, it's late at night. Like when I say late, I mean dinner time. Right around when Josh or I starts cooking dinner. <clears throat> and it's just a little bit of nausea. It's not anything severe. Um, 
I think there was only one night where I'm like, oh my gosh, I really feel like I'm going to throw up right now. Oh, Phantom, don't hit the tripod, buddy. So, <clears throat> so I just laid down for a little bit. I had some water and I was fine after that. And that was just one time. <sighs> Phantom, most of the time, if I keep something in my stomach and I continue to drink my, Phantom, what I was doing at the very beginning, and it was like around five weeks to seven weeks. Yeah, that two week span, I was drinking one ginger ale a day just to kind of beat um, what nausea I would get if I were to get any. And that really helped a lot. But like I said, just making sure I have food in my system really helps me. And I feel so blessed for this pregnancy, guys. So incredibly blessed with the fact that it was a surprise pregnancy um, and not being sick, not having anything, no real aversions. There are some, some days where like the thought of having chicken for dinner, I'm like, mm, no, or like pork, I'm like, no. Like I have meals planned out for the week but when it comes to that day of cooking it, like, could we do, do something else? Because that just doesn't sound appetizing. And that's the only thing. Like, I, it doesn't make me nauseous or anything. It just doesn't sound appetizing. So it's just being mindful of that. There was a few days, I want to say it was like four or five days, where I really didn't cook dinner because nothing sounded good. I didn't want anything. I just picked. I had snacks. And that's what sounded good to me that day. And right now, coffee hasn't been pleasant to think about in the morning. So the last three days, I haven't had coffee. Today was the first day that I did have my Starbucks cold brew, and that was really good. I did finish all of it. Um, but the same thing happened to me with Eleanor. I went pretty much the whole first trimester not having any coffee, and which is good for you. Um, they say you really aren't supposed to have coffee, have caffeine when you're pregnant, but um, I limit it to one cup a day, which my midwife said is totally okay. Speaking of midwife, we have our first ultrasound in a week, and um, it's actually the same day that I go in for my monthly appointment with my midwife, and I am so excited to go to this ultrasound because it's going to be the day I hit 10 weeks, which we should be able to hear and see the heartbeat, with an actual ultrasound. With Eleanor, we went as soon as I turned seven weeks, I think it was, she had scheduled it for. <clears throat> and they had to do the actual um, vaginal probe, which it doesn't hurt or anything. It's just because the baby is so small, they need to, phantom buddy, they can't see the baby um, that well and get like an actual heart rate reading with the ultrasound wand on your belly. So I'm really, phantom, seriously, dude. I'm really hoping that um, they can just do their regular ultrasound wand on my belly next week when we go in. And as far as I know, Josh is able to go in with me um, for my ultrasound. He was able to go with me for my first prenatal appointment, or not prenatal, my first um, midwife appointment when they do the pregnancy test in the office and they kind of do like a get to know you midwife appointment and go through all the questions and make sure the due date is accurate, that kind of stuff. At least that's what my doctor's office does. So as of right now, he is able to come with me. Um, if he's able to come with me for the ultrasound, that's another question, which I have to actually call and ask them about. But I don't think there's any more updates. I am going to do my very best to do either weekly or every two week updates, but again, it's going to, I, it's going to depend on how I am feeling and if there's like anything new to update you guys on. What I need to do is I need to start taking belly shots, but it's kind of hard when you, you really don't have a belly to show. I'm expecting this baby to make my belly pop sooner because that's what happens when you have more pregnancies is your belly just pops sooner. And it honestly wasn't all that long ago <clears throat> when I was pregnant. So my uterus, I mean, my uterus is back to its normal size. And my body has somewhat fully recovered from pregnancy and birth. 
but it wasn't that long ago that I was pregnant. So my body knows what it's doing. <clears throat> Before I was pregnant, I was still producing a tiny little bit of milk, but Eleanor, I think she nursed when I was pregnant and before I even knew I was pregnant and she didn't like the taste of the milk so she kept going off and on the boob and that's when I just switched to doing milk full time for her and just stopped nursing. So I'm not producing any milk right now. Um, I'm actually producing like a tiny little bit of colostrum and I have to like really work at getting it. So yes, I'm not producing any milk. I'm producing colostrum now and kind of mentally going through what we need to get for the new baby, um, which isn't really much in the way of big ticket items. The only big ticket item that we need to get is a new crib because Eleanor is still going to be in her crib when this baby is here, and then a new dresser. And we actually need to um, kind of renovate, update our laundry room a little bit and cut it in half and make the other half a nursery for the time being um, and then that half will actually connect to our bedroom because the door opens to the laundry room and it'll just open up to that half of the nursery and yes that's really the only big things that we need to do <clears throat> thank god because last pregnancy we were renovating half of the house <sighs> i am out of breath right now i need to film another video which will be up before this video is up um, but yes, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. I know this video was really long. I wasn't intending this video to be long at all, but here we are. That's what happens when you do story time. It makes a long video. But yes, I will see you guys next time, and I hope you enjoy this video. Bye.